Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby. I live in New York City and this is my lifestyle channel. So if you haven't already, please take a second to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 7k, hopefully by the end of March. That's the next goal here for this channel. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always new content to watch. I don't know where the lighting just went. I think a giant cloud is passing over, but while I'm at it, also be sure to go follow me on TikTok. I post daily content over there and we are so close to hitting 20,000. For today's video, I really Really wanted to film a super easy kind of like fresh faced your skin but better makeup tutorial we are slowly transitioning into the spring and so I've been really wanting to make a makeup tutorial like this for a while now something that's very much like I said just kind of your skin but better it lets your actual skin peek through the makeup it's very glowy it's very dewy which is something that I've really been enjoying recently you guys know but it's also a very like minimalistic makeup routine in the sense that I really didn't use that many products you guys know recently I've really been loving the kind of like less is more makeup approach. Obviously there is still definitely a time for like full glam, but recently I've just really been kind of reaching for a your skin but better naturally luminous makeup look. And I am so excited to announce, like excited is an understatement, but that's the only word I can find. No, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, excited, all of the above because today's video is in partnership with Merit. I'm sure you've seen the Merit Beauty gondolas at Sephora by now. I mean, they also have their own website, but I originally discovered them from shopping at my local Sephora, and I quickly just became obsessed with their minimalistic approach to makeup, but also the packaging, the products. I originally found them because you guys know I'm obsessed with their lip oils. I literally have almost every single shade. And so recently they reached out to me and asked if I would want to collaborate on a video, and I was just like so stunned, shocked, excited, obviously. And I said yes, of course. It was like one of the easiest things to say yes to. So they let me pick out a ton of makeup, basically from their entire collection. I feel like I now have the entire full collection from Merit. They sent it all to me and I immediately knew that I wanted to include these products in my fresh face makeup tutorial. A couple of these products I've used before, but a lot of them I used for the first time today. And so you also kind of got my first impressions live on camera, which I had a lot of fun doing. It also all came in this incredible cosmetics bag, which I am so excited to use this. You have no idea. I actually looked on the website to make sure that this wasn't just a part of like what they send the influencers that they work with. But when you place your first order on Merit's website, they send you one of these cosmetic pouches. And I love it because you literally just kind of like tie it like so and then it opens. It's like a corduroy velvety material. I'm obsessed with the color. It's kind of like a mustard yellow slash brown. All the products are currently in here, but the next time I travel, I'm probably just going to put all of my like makeup travel essentials in here. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to have links for both the Merit website down below, but also links to shop all these products through Sephora, depending on how you guys like to shop and where you get your makeup. I just seriously cannot believe that I get to work with such incredible brands that I'm truly an advocate for and truly believe. In. I absolutely love the way this makeup look turned out. I actually have to go film an audition now and I feel like my skin is just prepped, glowy, and ready. But without further ado, I feel like that's enough chit chat for now. Let's just jump into the makeup tutorial. Okay, so obviously I'm starting with a fresh, clean face. I have a lip mask on right now just to kind of let it sit and do its thing while we do the rest of the makeup. For my primer, I want to do something very glowy, and you guys know I love this product. No surprise here. This is the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel in the color Star Glow. This is just the mini size, but I think pretty soon I'm definitely going to have to purchase the full size because as you can tell, I've been obsessed with it. I love this because it's really cooling and very hydrating, but it's not going to make your makeup like slip and slide. I even love this on days where I'm not wearing makeup and I just want that very kind of like model off duty skin that's just like glowy, lit from within. And they do, I believe, also have a second shade of this that's a little bit deeper and like more bronzy, which I think for the summertime would be beautiful. I'm actually first going to jump into under eye concealer before I do the rest of my face makeup. Um, so this is the Kosas like brightening under eye concealer. I've been obsessed with this. This is literally like my third time repurchasing this, I think. It's so creamy, so hydrating. It feels so good under the eyes. You have no idea. Blending this out, obviously, with my favorite beauty sponge from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with these sponges. I don't think I'll ever use another one. I just feel like for the price, they're so good. They're soft, but they're not too soft. They're not stiff, so they're very easy to work with. When I'm doing a very fresh face, I like to start with under eye concealer first because that's typically like, obviously the part of my face that needs the most brightening. My under eyes can get a little dark. And then it's all about just kind of spot correcting whatever else you wanna cover 
on your face, but letting your skin still show. Which brings me to my next product. Um, this is from Merit, and this is the Perfecting Complexion Stick. First of all, I just love the packaging for the boxes. I'm gonna use this to kind of spot correct um, whatever else needs to be covered on my face. I'm not gonna do like a full-fledged foundation look for this look, although you can definitely use this as both a foundation and concealer. I am going with the shade Bisque for today. This is like the perfect shade for my face. Obviously, if I was gonna use this underneath my eyes, I like something a little bit uh, more brightening and not exactly my skin tone, but for my face, this is perfect. Here's what the color looks like. Oh, I'm obsessed with the packaging on this too. I feel like my skin has actually been really behaving recently, um, but I still have like a couple little spots of discoloration that I want to cover. Typically, I am not a lover of stick foundations. If you've been around on my channel for long enough, you would probably assume that because I never use them. This, however, is a product that I have used before and really love it. I just picked it up in a slightly deeper shade this time. It's just like so easy to work with. It's not too creamy. It's definitely not too dry. Um, and I just like I love the way that it wears rather than blending it out with a beauty sponge though I'm gonna be taking just a kind of like denser foundation brush from MAC cosmetics and just kind of like buffing it into the skin That way I feel like at least for me um, when it comes to stick foundations Just like a beauty sponge doesn't always work the best This is the one time that I'm like a big proponent of an actual foundation brush Oh, it's just so good. It blends out so easily. And what I love about this is it's not full, full coverage. It still lets your skin peek through, but it covers up the redness and it corrects like any sort of dark spots that you have or like hyperpigmentation. And you guys know recently, I've just been loving kind of the less is more makeup look and products like this just really help achieve like clean skin without doing like 50,000 things to it. Yeah, you see that? Like we hardly actually put any product on the skin. We were very selective with where we chose to lay everything down, but already it looks like I have such like a much more even kind of canvas. I'm gonna very lightly set. I'm gonna be pretty conservative with how much powder I use. This is the Fenty Beauty Loose setting powder. I'm going to apply the most underneath my eyes just to lock in that concealer because it is so hydrating. The Merit Complexion Stick I find doesn't really need that much powder to set it. I do have combo skin so I still like to use a little bit. Okay, so next I'm gonna jump into bronzer and I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm face palette and I'm just gonna be mixing these two shades. Merit actually doesn't have a bronzer yet. I say yet because I'm really hoping that they'll actually come out with one. Um, there is one blush shade from them that you can use as a bronzer. I actually have that one, but I just want something a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna use this to warm up the face in the regular places. And I like this bronzer because while it definitely does like add warmth to the skin, it's like semi sheer, like more sheer than the other ones in my collection. Okay, now for blush, like I said, I have two different shades of the Flush Balm from Merit. I will open them both up and then we'll decide which one we are going to use today. So this one right here is in the color Terracotta and this is the one that I've seen people using um, also as a bronzer at times. Here's the packaging. I'm so excited to try these. I believe it was Lauren Elizabeth once who I saw like raving about these. Such a pretty, just kind of like warm brownish nude. You guys know I love blush colors like this, especially in the summertime for just like a really easy kind of swipe and go shade. Okay, and then this is in the color Beverly Hills, which I'm really excited for this one. I'm thinking this is the one we might use today. Yeah, this is like a really pretty kind of like mauve cooler tone pink. I think we're gonna use this one. Now with a product like this that's very emollient, I think I'm just going to literally swipe it onto my cheeks and blend it out with my fingers. These feel so hydrating and they're like dewy, but they're not sticky at all. Okay, wait, how pretty is this, you guys? Like I'm not even over-exaggerating. This is like the cutest little flush to the cheeks and it's just glowy and natural. Oh, I love that. I'm sure you can make these a little bit more intense with a denser blush brush, but I like just the little flush that that gave. I feel like during the summertime, these are gonna be like 
one of my go-to products. They're just so easy. Okay, now for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Day Glow Highlighting Balm again from Merit. I'm really excited for this because it looks very natural, but like it's just gonna give that like kind of your skin but better glow. This is in the color Kava. This has actually been on my Sephora wish list for a really long time, so I'm very excited to finally be able to try this out. So pretty, it's like a super pearly kind of highlighter. I feel like this on days where I wanna do a much more intense look wouldn't do it for me. Like I would have to layer um, like a powder on top of it, but for days like today where it's very fresh faced, very glowy lit from within, this is it. Again, I think I'm literally just gonna swipe it on and then blend it in with my fingers. This feels so good. Like it's just super, it kind of reminds me of the blush where it's hydrating, but it's not sticky. I just kind of, well you guys saw, I applied it in like that C shape where I like my highlight to hit. I'd be interested to try this with a fuller coverage foundation um, to see if it like moves the foundation at all, but the little product that I had underneath this, it didn't disturb it at all. So it's definitely a good sign. Wow, this is so pretty. Like even though it's not intense, intense, like it's still, you can see that it's still definitely really giving a nice, like dewiness to the skin. I'm really not mad at that. Like I really, really like that. So as much as I love a very glowy, fresh look like this, you definitely have to lock a look like this in with a setting spray. So I'm just gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. You guys know this is one of my go-tos. It's either this or the Charlotte Tilbury. It's literally all I use. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I was toying with the idea of doing nothing on the eyes, but I think I wanna do a little something only because after this, I have to film an audition and a couple TikToks. So I just want a little bit of something on the eyes, but not anything crazy. I'm first gonna prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now again, Merit actually doesn't have any eyeshadow products yet. At least I didn't see any. I don't think that they do. I could see them coming out there with like a really pretty glossy, like liquid shadow of some sort or like an eye balm, but when that like doesn't crease, that'd be so cool. But for now, I'm gonna go back into the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'm gonna mix those two bronzer shades and I'm going to apply them directly into my crease just for like a little bit of definition. Not doing anything too crazy, but I really love the way that like bronzer just kind of subtly I don't know, makes your eyes pop. And because it obviously matches the bronzer that we have on our face, it just kind of creates this natural shadow of your eye. It doesn't look like it's been done with makeup. And then for my lid, I think to match this beautiful glow we have going on, I just want something very shimmery and bright. So I'm gonna go into this little mini palette that I have from Huda Beauty. This is the Nude Light Palette. And I'm gonna go with this really beautiful, like kind of pearlescent pink. Reminds me of like fairy dust or something. <laughs> And see how that just adds like a subtle brightness to the eye and it really does tie in well with like the glow that we have going on. I'm kind of going in a weird order for a second before we finish up the eyes. I want to do the brows really quickly. I actually discovered this product a couple of months ago and I was gonna talk about it in another tutorial right before Merit reached out to me and I was like, wow, this is like perfect timing. This is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade and this is in the color Black Brown. You guys know, typically I stick with clear brows brow gels because I have found most tinted brow gels to be very messy, not super effective in holding the, the lift to them. And then I found this and I was like, where have you been all my life? It has a little bit of a naturally more like drier formula to it, but that doesn't mean that it dries out quickly. It's just drier and a little bit easier to work with. It's not as messy and the color payoff is so good. The hold is so good. I'm gonna be using the one that I bought a few months ago uh, so that it's already opened and I don't have to open up a new one right away. I'm gonna save this. Also the packaging on this is like true, I don't know, luxury glamour. I love a good tinted brow gel for the days that I don't want to fill in my brows or really do much to them, but I want a little bit more color and obviously I want to shape them a little bit too. Here's what the wand looks like. I also love that it's not a super fat wand. Again, it just makes it like mess free, but it's not so tiny that I feel like it doesn't work for my naturally thicker brows. I just feel like I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this product yet and already it's become one of my favorite makeup items in 2022. So this is before without the brow gel and this is with the brow gel. Like it's, it's subtle, it's not too much, it's not too much color like I said, 
but the difference is definitely there and this looks like a fully done brow and I only used one product again this year I'm just basically like telling Merit what I think they should make this year because all their products have been such a hit so far I would love to see them come out with a brow pencil something that just gives subtle color I could picture them doing like a very fine pencil something that just really complements this brow gel or brow pomade I guess I should say okay so now we are jumping into mascara and I am so excited to try this I don't remember who it was I saw a girl on TikTok recently talking about this and one the mascara looked fantastic on her lashes but also the packaging just like I don't know I really something about it is just like so glamorous this is the clean lash lengthening mascara and this is in the color purest black oh my god this is so pretty this is everything look at the like I I don't know what it is. This is so good to me. Really nice brush, not too thick. And what I love is it doesn't have plasticky bristles, which I have found I really don't like in a mascara. All right, let's see what this does to my lashes. This is really natural and I love it. <laughs> Again, this kind of has like a drier formula similar to the brow gel and honestly in a mascara I really don't mind that because I feel like it kind of grips the lashes it also makes the application not as messy uh, you do have to work pretty quickly though with this mascara I will say here's the before here's the after subtle difference but this eye definitely looks more awake and it just like lifted my lashes made them look nice and separated I don't know if you guys can see that on camera at all, but like it's definitely gripping my lashes. It's not like painful and it's certainly not pulling them out, but it's definitely like coating them really nicely. So prior to working with Merit and trying out like their full collection, when they first reached out to me to work with me, I was like, you don't understand. There are two products from you guys that I've tried, both of which I'm obsessed with. The first of which being the brow gel, which we already talked about. And the second of which being their shade slick tinted lip oils. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. I've talked about them on YouTube. I've talked about them on TikTok. I discovered these last year. Again, I think thanks to Lauren Elizabeth. And then the last Sephora VIB sale that they had, I went crazy and bought like almost every color. The one shade though that I like couldn't get my hands on was constantly sold out at my Sephora is the shade Bel Air. So when they were sending me over this package with all the products, it's like, please, if you have this in stock, please send it to me. And they did, and I am so happy. So this is the shade Bel Air, and right off the bat, it just looks like a clear gloss, but if you look super closely, I feel like you can see it better from like the bottom. There are little tiny, tiny, gold flecks in this. It is so pretty. I feel like on top of a lip color, this alone with just a liner, it would look so good. I don't think I'm gonna use this one today because I do want something with a little bit of color, but I'm so happy to finally have this in my collection. And also again, the packaging, 10 out of 10, something about this like rectangular, like bottle with the circular cap makes me very happy also the logo embossed on the cap i don't know everything about this packaging makes me so happy i also love that it's a little bit smaller and it doesn't take up a lot of space in my collection i just love their lip oils though you guys know they're not sticky um the color payoff is perfect it's not too sheer but it's not a full-on dramatic lip color okay but enough chatting about how much i love them let's pick out what shade i'm gonna wear so as far as the actual shades with color i have four um all of which I bought with my own money. You guys have seen these in previous haul videos. I don't think I'm gonna use this shade today, but I do love it. This is in the shade Sangria. It's like a beautiful like wine red. This is Pink Beet. It's a really pretty cool tone pink, perfect for the spring and summer. And then I have two like nudes. This is the color Taupe. I believe this is one of their newest shades. And then this is in the shade En Naturel. So pretty, like a very peachy nude. I kind of, kind of wanna mix these two shades together which is something that I've never done before, but I feel like it could be really pretty. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix En Naturel with Taupe and just see what happens. We're just experimenting here, guys. We're just having fun with makeup together. I'm gonna start with En Naturel first. These just feel amazing on the lips. Like these are one of my favorite products. Like I said, you guys already know that. They just feel weightless. They feel like nothing. I also think that's also because there is no scent to these lip oils. So like I don't even notice that they're on. Okay, but now let's take a little bit of taupe and just layer that on top. So 
so pretty that deepened it up just a little bit and took away a little bit of the peachiness and I really like it. There you guys have it. That is the completed look for this super easy, fresh faced makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to please give it a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 7K. That is the next goal here for this channel. You can also follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. There's like tons of stuff in the description box, links for you to click on and all that jazz. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm also gonna have links in the description box for you guys to shop Merit's website, but I'm also gonna have links for all these products on Sephora, just kind of depending on where you like to shop and get your makeup from. And I just wanna say one more huge thank you to Merit for working with me on today's video, you guys. It is such a pinch me moment when I get to work with these brands that I'm legitimately such a fan of and a supporter of. And then for these brands to see me as a content creator that they want to work with, it just truly means the world. And I also just wanna thank you guys for your support and the love that you guys have shown me because without you I would never be able to work with these incredible brands. I'm just so grateful, I'm so humbled, and it's all thanks to you guys. So truly, thank you. I love you all so much. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Bye everybody.